From traumatizing Alex Pereira's son after winning a bout, to almost starting a bar fight with Bert Kreischer, here are Israel Adesanya's most controversial moments revealed. You know him for winning titles, you know him for demolishing anyone who stands in his way, but what you probably don't know are the controversies he's been involved in, like mocking another fighter's son. That's right, this one's probably the most recent one of the bunch, taking place at UFC 287 when Izzy was up against Alex Pereira. They'd met in the cage three times before, and Adesanya had lost all of them, so he was out for revenge after losing to the same opponent from a knockout. But that's not all. After Adesanya lost that fight, Pereira's son mocked him, pretending to get knocked out just like the fighter did. Imagine that. Adesanya even talked about it in an interview, saying that if that was his kid, then he'd school him there and then and make them apologize, because it's just disrespectful. But it looks like he got his sweet revenge after all. So, at UFC 287, the fight starts, and he knocks Pereira out without a problem this time, finally getting his title and revenge. But then he did something no one expected. Adesanya made the same gesture to the kid after winning, as his dad was rolling on the floor in pain. Now that's some messed up stuff. Talk about taking things way too far and making a child fear for his life in a single night. On the other hand, you might be wondering what Alex's response to it was. Well, turns out that he's a good sport about it and understands why his opponent did what he did. Honestly, I hope that puts an end to this issue. But while this feud might have ended, this is not the only time Adesanya's straight up provoked his opponent. I mean, how can I forget about his fight against Paulo Costa? Now here's a fight that fans are never gonna forget. You might think that taunting Pereira's son is the worst thing this fighter has done, but oh boy, that's only the beginning. In fact, there's rarely a fight out there where Izzy doesn't gesture a taunt at his opponent after winning. But sometimes he just takes it too far. See, his win against Costa itself was iconic. Nothing problematic about how he fought. But what he did after he won was what caused the controversy. The fighter decided it was a good idea to go to his knocked out opponent and pretend to hump him. I don't have to explain why this caused so much controversy in the UFC. According to Adesanya himself, he thinks the only reason it was controversial was because of people being homophobic. Not sure if that makes sense, but alright Izzy, you could have justified that, but there's no way anyone could explain this next thing he did. Defending Joe Rogan. Now, this has happened a bunch of times, but the most controversial of all of them has to be the time when a certain video of the podcaster took over the internet. What video, you might be wondering? Well, apparently, he said a bunch of racial slurs in an episode of his show. Though that's not what we're going to be talking about today. No, today is all about Izzy and how he, for some reason, defended Rogan's actions. All while Rogan himself was down to apologize about the clips on camera, admitting that he's done a bad thing and needs to own up to it. So, coming back to Izzy, he started by talking about how he's black and that's why he can talk about the issue. Then saying that the entire MMA scene is full of snakes and he knows Rogan, that he's the nicest, coolest, even one of the most humble people out there. So no matter what anyone says, he will always have his back. Plus, he also said that everyone else should do the same. That they should just ignore pretty much everything Rogan's done, just because he's a nice guy, and move on with their lives. Not just that. The fighter started talking about how cancel culture would get everyone, trying to turn it into an even bigger issue. People were pissed about that, and you get why. Though what I don't get is why he's defending racists and traumatizing kids, but that's nothing compared to his comments on assault. Now here's one that got serious. Why is that? Because Ad and Sonya thought it would be cool to threaten another fighter while the two were talking smack. In fact, it was so serious that the New Zealand government had to get involved, saying that they do not condone behavior like his. But what did he say that was so bad? Before I get into it, fair warning to everyone out there that it's going to shock you. Here's what happened. The fighter was up against Kevin Holland, so just like any other MMA athlete out there, he made a video about it and posted it on Instagram. Though here's where things get disturbing. In that same video that he posted all over the internet, he straight out said that he's gonna assault his opponent. And of course, it was shocking to hear the fighter throwing that out casually. So you know that everyone had a lot to say about that, and for good reason. I mean, come on, man, there are a bunch of other things he could have said, but he just crossed the line here. Now, Izzy ended up deleting all of his posts that started the whole problem, though he still hasn't responded to any criticism he's gotten over the whole thing. But 
Even Izzy has to own up to some of his controversies, like when he had a bunch of legal troubles with his ex. You heard that right. I bet most of you probably didn't even know that he was dating someone. I mean, none of his fighter friends seemed to know anything about it. But apparently, the guy was dating real estate agent Charlotte Powdrill. Although they've broken up now, the end of this relationship led to some super intense court battles, all because Powdrill is after half of all of Izzy's earnings, claiming that the fighter has assaulted her and so much more, so he needs to pay up for it now. But what's interesting about it is that they were never married or anything of the sort, so is she even entitled to almost 50% of his wealth? Most of which he's earned way before the two met? I mean. It's no surprise that Izzy was having none of this. So what did he do? Well, he went on to social media and accused her of selling information about him to journalists online. That's not all though. Izzy also said that he stopped loving her a while ago, but never said anything about it. Yikes. But that's not where it ends. The fighter, even, said that he couldn't bother hating Charlotte because he just doesn't care about his ex. Though with all the assault allegations, along with his doubling down on his savagery, all of this isn't exactly the best look for him. So of course, a bunch of people have been pretty mad at him. I mean, why wouldn't they be? If he did want to talk crap about his ex or the situation, he could have waited till the whole court drama was over. Instead, he just didn't care and didn't take it seriously, saying that he's got the money and the lawyers to take care of it. I mean, this guy just can't let anything slide. Which reminds me of his feud with Burt Kreischer. Here's another pretty recent one. I mean, it just happened in May of 2023. So what went down? Well, turns out that the fighter was hanging out with Burt Kreischer of all people. A pair you'd never think would ever be friends. But there's a story behind it all. Turns out that Burt was trash-talking the fighter on Joe Rogan's podcast, saying that if he ever came across him, he'd beat the crap out of him. In an unfortunate turn of events, at least for the comedian, they bumped into each other at a bar in New Zealand. Now that's some lousy luck if I've ever heard of it. Not just that, but the fighter then dapped him up, only to suddenly grab the back of his neck and threw a knee that made the comedian helpless. All Bert could do then was apologize to the big fighter before him. The beef ended right there and then, and the two then went on to drink it all off. But for some reason, they ended up going to every single person at the bar, trying to start a fight with them. And can you imagine how serious things would have gotten if even one of them would have said yes? You have to admit, it would have led to a full-on old-school bar fight. Thankfully, that didn't happen. And the two just returned to their seats, disappointed. But that whole situation changed the comedian's perspective on the guy, and the two are actually friends now. All in all, a wholesome ending to a pretty problematic night, right? So, from Adesanya and Burt Kreischer almost starting a bar fight, to the fighter traumatizing Alex Pereira's son after winning a bout, these were Israel Adesanya's most controversial moments revealed.